Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit 2018. I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Wolfram Burgard, Professor of Computer Science and Head of Autonomous Intelligence Systems Lab at the University of Freiburg in Germany. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. So AI for Good, how can AI be used to help deliver the UN Sustainable Development Goals in your field in particular? So I'm, I'm in robotics and in robotics there are several applications uh, that we think of that are super relevant for our future society. One is uh, traffic. Can we make traffic more uh, reliable and, and safer? Uh, so this is why we are working on self-driving cars and um, with the aim of developing cars that actually produce fewer accidents than human-driven cars do, so that uh, we can actually save, the idea would be that we save plenty of lives in the future. Uh, and then the next one is uh, production. Right? So there's a lot of heavy labor going on in, in also not so developed countries. And uh, you could imagine that parts of that are taken over by robots, so that uh, actually people do not have to do that much heavy work uh, anymore. And uh, there are other, other aspects, like for example, uh, health. Uh, so where you could actually have robots assisting people in, in healthcare, but you also could have like simply assistant systems that uh, use your cell phone, for example, for making diagnosis and providing people to, to uh, access to, to, to doctors, uh, which is also a shortcoming currently in, in our society. In the media recently, we've talked a lot about uh, the various incidents and accidents that some of the autonomous vehicles have been involved with. Do you find that you have to defend your work and the use of AI uh, more than you used to? This is the very same with, with many technologies that we introduce. So, for example, if you think about cars by themselves, I mean, people found cars super useful. And, uh, and this is why we are accepting to have thousands of, of death casualties per year. Right? So for, for the pure welfare of our society. And uh, the same can happen with, with self-driven cars, or it's probably also going to happen. So we will have situations in, in which um, maybe AI-based cars behave suboptimally, at least in the very beginning. And our hope is that in the long run, uh, we will outperform humans. And uh, I mean, um, the question is how to regulate this. And uh, I mean, this particular, these particular accidents were in fact partly software b failures and uh, partly also, as it turns out, maybe wrong configurations in, 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 in the software. And uh, with mistakes, you learn, obviously. That's yeah, although part of the obvi process. yeah, ob obviously we truly would like to avoid these mistakes, and uh, these are tragedies, and uh, this is not what we are working on. We are actually working on trying to make the world a better place and uh, not uh, harming people. Yeah, absolutely, of course. Um, now you come from the world of academia, obviously. Do you find that uh, the AI for Good Global Summit is a good platform to meet people from other sectors, maybe the private sector or government? I mean, it, it has several advantages being here. First of all, getting into contact with other people and uh, understanding their approaches to, to relevant problems of our societies, um, which is also provides me with additional arguments about uh, AI for Good. And uh, in addition to, to maybe also promote the fact that uh, AI also has very, very positive uh, aspects. And uh, that's what the researchers are working on these days. Um, I mean, there's so much potential uh, in improving our daily life and uh, also societal problems that uh, we should actually take a different view onto AI. And, uh, and this is interesting in, in because, or important, because in Europe we have the tendency to look a little bit too negative uh, onto uh, AI or at AI. If you think about Japan, in Japan a robot is always your friend. And uh, like robots are perceived completely different uh, in, in, in Europe. And I think uh, this comes with the risk of actually losing uh, leadership in technology in, in, in the future. Right? If no one wants to have those systems, and, uh, but other countries will, then this is a substantial risk also for Europe. Mr. Bergal, thank you very much. You're welcome.